Well, welcome to the PSA World Open, Saudi Arabia 2010. So Mick, Nick Matthew starting the final of the PSA World Open, Saudi Arabia 2010. I just feel that the longer the match continues, it's playing into the hands of uh, Nick Matthew, really. Well, that's why the man from Sheffield, who's the number one seed in this event, looking just to extend rallies, but James Walshrop showing his quality, getting very low into that drop shot there, and his accuracy levels are so grooved, closing Matthew down, just trailing by one point at 3-4. Instantly increasing the tempo there, though, Nick Matthew. Maybe he's aware that uh, Wilstrop will try to slow him down a little bit. Oh, uh, such good accuracy. He's done it on the forehand side again there. Gets very low, takes the ball out in front. Wonderful shot from Wilstrop, so four all in this first game. I'm convinced that if he plays straighter down the backhand wall, he's going to get the better of Nick Matthew. I really am. Oh, it's and fantastic that width is James so Lee. accurate. And I think from a fatigue aspect, he'll he's be able to keep himself away from any danger, any extravagant movements that he has to do. But We'll have to see how it pans out at the moment. Wolstrop, 8-7. Again, that's fantastic width from James Wolstrop. That's another cross-court, Nick. So, two-point lead now for Wolstrop. That certainly wasn't lucky. So, Wilstrop still with two game balls. And they're playing down the channel. Wilstrop with a fantastic volley drop that sees the tall man from Pontefract take the first game in this World Open final, 11-8. Just reminds me a little bit at the moment of the match between these two at the Canary Wharf Classic back in March, which went for nearly two hours, and all the way to the end it was a squash of the highest accuracy and quality. Wolstrop had to actually concede due to uh, an intense muscle cramp, he couldn't get off the floor. <laughs> You're not in any rush here, PJ. No, he'll be very happy with this, this kind of rally. Well, that's, you can see that, the clenched fist. So trying to urge himself on here, Nick Matthew. He knows exactly how important that rally was. Did you see the accuracy of Wilstrop is just starting to drop off ever so slightly now Joey and as I say that <laughs> <laughs> commentators curse there thanks James no, but he, there was a few backhand volley drop chances there PJ and you rightly pointed out that usually he puts those in as outright winners and it was just quite loose that's a clever shot there from both players really attacking that front left corner again. Well, there's the poor width, and you can see the arm of Nick Matthew being extended. It's so flexible. Yeah, full stretch there, Nick Matthew. Yeah. Good width there from James Wallstrop. You can see Nick Matthew, you can see his intentions trying to take that ball in short, but the shot really wasn't on. Stretching too far. I think the attitude from Nick Matthew again is he's not in a massive hurry to win this rally. 
sorry, to win this second game. He'll probably try and take a little bit more out of the body. James Wallstrop, who guesses the drive there, but going cross court. So Nick Matthew equalises 11 6. He's being patient as well, PJ. He's taking a lot of the balls deep. Again, holding the ball, taking it deep. He's looking a lot more relaxed now to me. Joey, I think it was a huge psychological boost for Matthew to win that second game. And you can just see him now starting to move Wilstrop around. Wilstrop really is struggling to find a way to win a point in this third game. Matthew looks pretty indestructible. Oh, that was a lovely, again, example of being so aware of where your opponent is, showing him the straight volley and then holding the ball. Completely wrong footing, Nick Matthew. Well, Matthew really has found his length here. Joey, you're right. Since halfway through that second game, and due to his improved length, Really haven't seen Wilstrop being able to attack and apply anywhere near as much pressure to the front corners as we did in the opening game. He's just finding his time. It really <laughs> reminds me of uh, a kind of wolf <laughs> stalking his prey. <laughs> You can just see in Will Strott's movement now, he's... So Matthew, after a torturous third game, takes it 11-2, goes two games to one up. Oh. I don't know how Will Strott, I don't know how he got that one back, he was... Tremendous rally there from both players. Wonderful retrieving there from James Wilstrop. But the damage has been done. Really has, if there is anything but the final straw. I think that was it on that mm. rally. As the finals progressed here, I know it's a combination of James Wilstrop getting a little bit tired, but... I'm getting very tired. Very, very tired. Nick's length and his width did get better with time. Yeah, but the accuracy levels have decreased from James, who controlled the first game. Oh, nowhere near that one. Just a matter of time now, PJ. Matthew progresses to 7-1. Certainly can't switch off, though. Composes himself. last rally, Nick Matthew takes the Saudi 2010 World Open against his compatriot and countryman James Wollstrop, three games to one. We only say it, ladies and gentlemen, double British Open champion, Commonwealth Games double gold medalist, and now having been world number one earlier, the 2010 Saudi World Open champion. Will you please welcome Nick Matthew.